Hi guys, and welcome to the video where today we will be going over how to upgrade the Dell Optiplex 7010. I may make another video for the Dell Optiplex 7020 in the future, but the ones I have right now are tucked back and I don't want to get them out right now. But let's get straight into the upgrades. Okay, so initially starting off with the Optiplex, we go to the side and see that there is this actual latch that when pulled, it lets the side of the case off. And that's what we initially need to remove to get into the system. And once you get in, you'll initially see this, which if you have no idea what's going on inside of a computer or you have no idea how it works, this is your graphics card. This is your CPU cooler that has the CPU under it. This is your power supply. This is the DVD drive. Not all computers have this. This is your hard drive, and that's your RAM. And after that little quick overview, I'm gonna start off by upgrading the RAM. The computer already has eight gigs installed in it, but today you want to have at least 16 gigs of RAM. So here we have 16 gigs of DDR3. This is, well, technically we're adding two four gig sticks to the two four gig sticks already. I'm not Linus, I can't do that. We're adding two four gig sticks to the two four gig sticks already in the system, and it's pretty easy to do. You just do one, two, three, four on the RAM slots. It's relatively easy. You don't want to do the ones with the RAM already in it because we don't want to pull those out. Then afterwards, you'll find this little notch in the RAM and a little notch in the motherboard. You'll want to line up those notches to get it installed. Here we have one. Then we need to push it in until there's a click. You have to put some pressure on it to get it to work. And then we have our second stick right here. And they just plop in like so. And then boom, we're all good. Okay, and then we have the next system upgrade, which will be our hard drive, which you're wondering, are we gonna add extra storage or what? Nope, we are actually going to be putting in an SSD. Sorry about mine being scratched, it just is. An SSD will have way faster read and write speeds and will be able to access your files way faster than a spinning disk hard drive. So that's why an SSD is pretty much a needed upgrade for any system that doesn't have one. To remove our old HDD or hard drive, We'll just need to pull the tab on our cables to pull them out. And then on the Optiplex, it's really easy to pull out. There's just a tab here and here, and then we just pull it to get out. And then we don't even need the hard drive bay anymore because the SSD won't fit in it. So we'll set our hard drive to the side, and then we'll line up the cables like so with our SSD, which they plug in the same way for each one, so you can't really mess this up. And then after you do that, if I could ever get this done, sometimes I need to realign it, we can just slide the SSD back into the bay. You don't need to be as careful with an SSD as a hard drive because hard drives are way more fragile than an SSD. So the SSD really, you can just plop in there. But now we're on to the most important upgrade. Okay, now to the most important upgrade, the graphics card which we will be replacing with the GeForce RTX 3070. Just kidding, we're actually gonna be using the much easier to acquire and much cheaper entry level GeForce GTX 1650. This is a Maxoon model. But first of all, to install this, we'll need to remove the old graphics card in the system, which is right here. And with the Dell Optiplex, you have one tab right here that you need to push out and then open the cover, and then you can pull your graphics card out. Okay, once we have our little cover, or PCIe cover, over here open, we can then get the graphics card out, which is relatively simple. We just need to pull a little tab right here, and then pull the card. And it comes right out just like that. And before we can install our other card, you can see that it's dual slot, and there's only one slot open on the system. Oh, it looks like all of our covers fell off. That's not good. But basically, we're just gonna take all of our covers, just take them all out for the moment, and then we're only gonna put two of the covers back in, and they're relatively easy to line up. Just kind of plop them in like so, and hope to God they don't fall out. <laughs> and then after we get those installed, these aren't required by the way, if you're feeling lazy, you don't have to put them back in. We can just line the slot on the card up with the slot on the motherboard, top slot, and we can plop it in like so. If you're gonna put a larger card in, like a GTX 1070 or a RTX card, you will need to replace the power supply of the system, but we're not doing that today. This is just a budget upgrade guide. And after we get the graphics card put in, we can just plot back the PCIe cover, and boom. 
the system's pretty much ready to go and get gaming. Okay, now that we have the computer booted up, we can see that we have our CPU and i7-3770 4-core 8-thread, which came with the computer. We ha now have 16 gigs of DDR3 RAM, and we have a GTX 1650. So let's get into gaming. Okay, now that we have our game booted, which is Beam and G Drive, we can see that we are getting a good 80 FPS on, and this is an ultra settings, which means we're getting an amazing gaming experience on this. This is very playable. And like, this is faster than my first ever computer. Like now we're getting 110 FPS, which is just amazing. It's crazy how much pow powerful of a computer you can build for cheap these days. Like this build will put you down only like 200, 250 bucks which is just absolutely ridiculous. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and let's wreck into a tree. Bye.